Some people still buried here. They've took them out, of course. Why? Because if, if the government doesn't take the bodies out, modern day people, and they will sell them. What? <laughs> A lot of money. Are you serious? <laughs> So where are all the bodies? Where are they at? In the museums. No and, kidding. Yeah, yeah and, and um, they also buried them in the modern way. I can't believe they but took course, them all out. It's possible to see some skeletons somewhere, but of course, yeah, I would say two, but, but only the side of them. I mean, so the guide was saying that they took all the bodies out of these tombs and put them in the museums, so the people wouldn't get them. That's kind of weird. Hey, 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 Vern! Hey! Wow, look at this tomb here. It's incredible. Now, everywhere else I've been, a lot of these places were just completely destroyed. This is still together. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Wow. Look at that, you guys. I've never seen an ancient tomb that, that intact. Look at that. Jeez. 2,000 tombs here. Over 2,000. Man. That's crazy. Huh. God, just ransacked though. <laughs> It's so weird that they pull all the bodies out like this. This could be a family grave. We haven't really went into the details. Uh, Look at that. Yet. from the second century BC but the tomb area would be from the first century BC okay that would, so um, but we know that there was by sorry by the way we know that there was civilizations here from 5,000 years ago so, so wow. Islam was here first was it no Chris paganism was here first so what's paganism paganism is believing in multi gods so Zeus, Athena, Apollo. So it's Greek. Era. Look at these yeah. round tombs. What's with the round tombs? These are kind of weird. Are these like burial pits for a community or? Those are newer ones. Those are Ottoman style. Ah. Uh, wow. That's a huge yeah. cemetery. So it goes all the way up the hill. <laughs> of course, there was tombs underneath there but of course they've reconstructed it back there into a different area i mean you can see it's so in one people piece are in here. we would think of it oh it's even got a doorway here look at that i thought it would have just been all filled in but it actually has wow it's got a chamber in there look at that yeah wow that's pretty wild there's another one that Look at that, you guys. Wow. Far out. You guys, the, the lid was too damn heavy, so they just broke the side out and pulled them out. <laughs> Unreal. They were going to get in there. They weren't stupid. Wow. Interesting. So, do you really think that the motivation was to get the bodies and save them, or the motivation was to get get the bodies and take whatever trinkets and stuff that were out in there? The government sold the bodies, man. 
No, the soul. <laughs> <laughs> the body snatchers? Yeah. Oh, that's a neat. You will make it happen. Hopefully. <laughs> That's a neat shot here. Oh, look at the column just laying in the ground there. Look at that. Needs so, to be... there's a bridge that goes there. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's under new construction. Yeah. But he says, maybe you have to walk the bus. Maybe if we walk, maybe if... Because we know the big bus is up there. Okay, this might take it, but... You have to call it first, the authorities. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So hopefully it, it works out. <laughs> oh, an old, old oil press. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we entered wow. the south gate and this is the northern gate. This way. So there would be porticos, which means that this would be covered up. Inside there would be small shops, small stores inside, taking us to the other side of the city. So, yeah, just imagine being here 2,000 years ago. <laughs> so there would be big gates here? Yeah, well, so. this would be open, but there would be guards in front of it. So that you would enter from here, and inside you can see that there are small stores inside, small shops. Yeah. And it would be covered with portico. So just imagine there's a closed market. Okay, okay. Well, you can see where it's set. Uh, Writing at the top. Probably see that, guys? Okay. But of course, you would enter the city from here. Look at how mm -hmm. nice that writing is. What did it say on the top? Do you know what that writing would used to say? Well, usually it would say the name of the person who made the skate, who uh, built the skate. Ah. But of course, we can't read it today because of the. It's not all together. So the gates were named after the builders. Well, or, not the builders, or, but the or, person who's... Uh, symbolic? Yeah. Okay. Who they symbolized, okay. So was this road better than this, or was it always this rough? Yeah, it was much better. <laughs> but of course, time, earthquakes, and carriages affected. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, this is the latrine. <laughs> this is where you do your duty. Cool. It's pretty big. <laughs> Look at that. There's a. They only have two entrances. Sorry, guys. There's only two sexes. They don't have a in betweener section. Look at that. I don't know which side to go in. <laughs> Probably this side with the trough, right? That's probably the guy's section. I would imagine so. You lift your robe here. And this is where the ladies would wait in line for the three remaining seats. Look at that, you guys. That's the old toilet. Latrine. I didn't know that word came from the Greeks. Learn something every day. Now these columns are pretty darn rough. They didn't spend a lot of time making these really, really perfect. This was probably as fine as they made them. And this looks like it's some kind of a coral. You can see the pieces here. Or maybe it's the calcium deposit from the area. I'm almost willing to bet that might be what it is. Made from the calcium minerals. Huh. That's pretty cool though. And these blocks, see how they're kind of rough? There we are, Roman ruins.
ones, guys. That's pretty outstanding. Look at that. Okay. So you don't have to walk back, okay? Cool, thank you. No problem. What's really outstanding is how many sites there are here in Turkey. How many old biblical sites are here that are still existing? Now the guy that I'm with, he's from England. He agreed to pay the driver to take us to the Church of Philip, whether we can get in there or not. Now it was built in his honor after his death. So I kind of feel sad that he was killed here. He was saying that this city at one time was probably 30,000 plus. It's quite a thriving place. Now, I didn't think I was coming to this city. I thought I was just going to go see the calcium deposits today. So this is a huge plus to be able to experience this place. It's amazing. This much is still left. fancy so this must be the back door gate so what these gates separated and what the difference was I'm not sure maybe there was a financial district maybe one was the marketplace let's see what it says here the nymphanium what could that be about huh I can only guess Look at these roads, guys. They're not pretty nice here. I don't know. <laughs> One guy seems to think they were pretty good in the day. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. I kind of wonder, though. This is a piece together road, that's for sure. See, there was a channel down here. See, there's a hole right there. It's a hole right there. I think there's something underground here. And I've seen that in the last street. In Ephesus, there was something underground. I could see it here again, too. See the hole? What is underground here? There's something.
So what was this about? Was there a statue in there? Where? Is there was there a big statue in there at one point? There would be columns on top. Okay. This would be small uh, shops, small, small stalls. Okay. For shops, you can see the lines there. You know, with the round in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. That would be the line of the shop. Oh really? Yeah. That was the indicator. So each round dot was the. Okay, interesting. So how many acres is this site? Of course, when you take the village into account, which is a part of here, uh -huh. I would say six, seven kilometers square. Wow, it's real big. So this might have had more than 30,000 then. You think? No, no, I'm saying 60 to 80,000 people. Oh, 60 to 80,000 people. Okay. Yeah, that would that would pencil in. And also socializing, but during the big earthquake in the first century, all of the structures fell and the water from underneath the ground filled the area in so it became a natural pool ah. but of course today this is the clear patch oh, yeah this is the clear patch it is why is it called clear patch it is believed that Mark Anthony and the clear patch came here on the honeymoon but it's not confirmed it's not verified so it's a bit it's like some blessing so this is the Cleopatra pool so were there always columns in the thing? Yeah, those are the those are original. Those are the remains from the agora. Wow. So this is hot water. Yeah, this is the thermal water. All right, you guys. So we lucked out. We were able to get a van probably, to the Church of Philip. So we're the only two yeah. people that have been here this year. Nice. Only two people that have been wow. Here. So what can you tell us about this church? So, the church was built after the 4th century because in the 4th century the Romans accepted Christianity. Okay. And after the acceptance of Christianity, at the end of the 4th century, the Christianity became their main religion. So the churches mentioned before that time are not churches or communities, but this is an actual church built after the 4th century, after Theodosius's reign. It's named after St. Philip. St. Philip was martyred here in Hierapolis, and he also has a tomb which is around this area. Oh, it is? As well, yeah. Wow. Can we see the tomb? Today it's not possible, but you can see Everything the room. I think it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay, it's possible, but you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this place is like no other place, way up here on the hill. This is amazing. It's very quiet too. Oh, it is quiet. Wow, this is incredible. Look at that. So why was this so big? Why, why so many rooms? What's the... So here to put this, I said, gets its name from Hiera, which is the wife of uh, the Pergamon King Eumenes. Mm -hmm. But Hiera also means holy. So this is known as a holy city. Mm. So after they accepted Christianity, the Romans, like every other religion that they took, took it really seriously. So all the structures that they would make for Christianity would be really big, would be really impressive. Mm. So there's a bridge out to get to this site, you guys, and nobody's been allowed up here since the bridge is out, but we were able to get in here, so it's pretty nice.
things here. But of course, you can't see, we can't see it. So Why can't we see it? Because it's not here anymore. It's in the museum. Oh, it's not here. No, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, there was a tomb here, but it's gone. Oh, yeah. Ah, I thought they buried them in the ground like St. John. They do. Oh, they but they would, pulled they them would, up. Yeah, but if they left it here, Ah, uh, right, right, right. Where was his main? This would be it. This would be, it. This would be it. his main room. Yeah. So this this would, this would have been where he was buried then, in his it. church, before they pulled him up and put him in a muse in another place, I guess. But where is the main temple? The main so this was the mortuary, which would be his grave in a way. Yeah. But as I said, it's not here anymore. So this would be combined with the church, which is further down here. So if you look just over this hill here, you would see the church. Hmm. So it's combined. Okay. So this church, was this, if this was his tomb, was this also the main part of the, the assembly where the, the congregation would look to be preached from? Was this the main pulpit? Well, as I said, it's combined. So the church would be mainly Oh. So it's a combined site. Okay, so, so this would be the main area where they buried him. Ah, so this was just to honor him. That's yeah. all this was. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Because, as I said, it needs a lot of excavations and excavations. Ah, okay. But yeah. So what I want to know is, why did they use bricks? Rocks, bricks, rocks. What was the purpose for using the bricks and the rocks instead of all one medium? Well, if, it, if there's only, for example, stability, I think. Sorry? Stability. Exactly. In some areas of the city, you will see rock, limestone, rock, limestone. It's completely for the structure not to fall. If you can see right now, most of the structures from earthquakes in the past mm -hmm. have been destroyed. Mm -hmm. But structures like this have stayed. Ah, okay. Interesting. Because they had done this all the way back into the St. John's Temple, I noticed yeah. that beginning. Yeah. So it's been going on for a long time. And I thought, well... It's, it's a Roman tradition. Ah, okay. So this is... And, and do they have statues in these cutouts? Is that what these were for? They would. They, they would. They, as I said, there's a lot of things that we need to know still about this place. Right, right. Because not many studies have been made. Right. Hmm. So how many uh, apostles were buried here? In Turkey? Or? Yeah, yeah, in Turkey. Well, we have St. John. We have uh, St. Nicholas. Hmm. We have St. Philip. We have... Some people say Peter, Petrus. Hmm. Wow. So, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, and to think Paul, Paul was here for as long as he was too. Yeah. So the caves in, in Cappadocia, that was an old church at one time, right? Sorry? Uh, Cappadocia? Yeah. That was, now that was started by Paul? Yeah. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say started, but see, Paul didn't really, I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, he didn't start, he made it spread. Uh, so instead of starting something, he inspired he it. He inspired it, he spread it. Sure. John was the starter. Ah. Uh, Paul was a spreader. Ah, uh, okay, interesting. Interesting. So it's amazing that this is still around, that people haven't thrown this temple <laughs> down, right? I mean, yeah. so much is missing, especially down below. How come so much is existing up here still? Well, they didn't make any hotels here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you awesome go. view out of here, too. What a view. Oh my gosh. Okay. We just get an all around shot and we'll be ready. All right, you guys, check this view out from the Church of St. Philip.
circle with the early Maltese cross. Yes, I've seen that. Yeah, that w this would be after that. Okay. You've seen that cross? Yeah. <laughs> and so what, would that been original cross from 4, 4 AD or? Yeah, from 6, 7 AD, yeah. Or, okay. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's the church and this was his tomb. Wow. So it wasn't a very big church, really. leading down to his church. Huh. As I said, it's a combined site, so... Is there a mosque over here? Yeah. As I said, the, just behind this hill is a village. Okay. Hey, 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 Vern!